Hello Internet, Dan here from Danstube.tv and today we have Tech Rundown number 3 and we are checking out Veer Editor which is available on both iOS and Android devices. This is a full 360 degree video editor so you can edit photos and videos on the go and you have full customization over what happens and what goes on with this editing process. <laughs> The Veer 360 degree editor is extremely powerful. Honestly, this thing's amazing. It's absolutely free. I will have the links in the description below to check it out on iOS and Android devices. But I'm checking out the app right now. It's just so amazing. I can trim a clip. I can add multiple clips on the timeline to create a continuous video that can really go forever. I can add multiple scenes, multiple angles. I can really do whatever I want there. I have options for speed. I can then mute the audio if I wanted to. I can change the orientation where the the actual user viewing the video sees the video straight up so it will choose where the starting point is. I can then obviously delete different clips. I have the option to even add music and you can add your own music if you really wanted to there. Um, you have lots of different filters and lots of adjusting points for exposure, contrast, saturation, warmth and tint. Um, you also have toning, highlights and shadows and while this is all going on you can just navigate around the video and see how everything's turning up and how it actually displays uh, to the user later on. You then also have the option to add animated stickers which is really cool. A lot of them move around, bounce around, smile at you, whatever else. You can actually add them into any scene and have them fixed to a point so they can just be smiling in the corner or doing something weird off to the side and that actually worked really well. I added a few little stickers. Normally I just add the sun sticker over the sun which kind of makes sense um, and occasionally I add a few other things. I've put some glasses on and whatnot. You can put hats, weird monsters, aliens, whatever else you really want to put on there. You also have the option then to add text and you can change the transition here so you can just add a watermark for example danstube.tv. You can have that fade in or kind of pan in or whatever you want it to do and then you can actually change what time you want it to display when you want it to end and it actually works really well and it's extremely easy to do while you're on the go. When it comes to sharing that is extremely easy as well it's the whole one click sharing you can share your content to Veer which is a social media platform that was originally available before the editor that's a really good way to get exposure there's a lot of people actively engaging through that community there and it's basically a 360 degree community where you can view videos and connect with people all over the internet. Uh, you can also share with other VR platforms with the one click as well. Um, you have, like I said, the multi-clip editing and you have special effects um, and that's extremely easy to do with just a drag and drop to reorganize your clips uh, for a natural transition, which is great. The real-time filters, like I told you, they actually work really well and they describe them as Instagram-ready filters. Of course they do. Uh, you also have hundreds of royalty-free music so you can use them at your own free will without having to worry about copying copyright infringement or anything like that. This is also specifically designed for VR, so you can set it all up and then you can experience these live previews in 360 degrees or through your VR headset. And it supports all major 360 cameras, including the new Gear 360, which is the one that I've picked up, the Insta 361, the Riho Tehit S, and the Mi Sphere camera. Now let me just make sure I said that right. The Riho Theta S? Yeah, okay, sure. Well, if you actually check the link in the description, you can check what cameras are supported through the actual app store, whether that's Android or iOS. But yeah, it's just a really easy editor. It's very powerful. There's a lot of customization and freedom here. And honestly, I've been really impressed with what you can do. And to accompany the editor with the VR, um, Veer actual sharing application, the social network application that's literally just called Veer, I would also recommend checking out that as well. Um, then you can actually share your videos to the world and start to build up a following and connect with other 360 degree users which is really fun guys so thank you so much for watching let me know if you check it out um, also check out just the normal veer app as well as the veer editor anyway that's it have a great day and peace out